Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about converting your apps into desktop. Okay, so today I want to talk about desktop applications. You remember desktop applications, right? Before we had our mobile phones. Uh, so, so a few months ago we started taking, oh, well I started taking a lot of our games, our Corona SDK games and, and converting them into desktop applications. Because one of the nice things about Chrome SDK, it, it, it does have an option to export to, uh, to Win32 and also to Mac OS. So Win32 is something that we haven't really done because I can't really find a good market for it. Uh, and I'd like to do it as Windows Universal apps put onto the Windows Store, but so far we haven't done that. But we have done Mac OS uh, games. So basically, the games that we have or the apps that we have that are not you know, reliant on certain things like touch or, you know, uh, gyroscope or GPS or anything like that, then we could take those and put those into just, you know, make them into desktop applications. So I'm going to show you my iTunes Connect so you can see how those are doing. And it's actually, it's actually pretty, pretty good here. So here you can see my um, iTunes sales and trends for like the last week up until yesterday. Now I don't get a huge amount of, of, uh, of apps um, or, or downloads. I get more than, than a lot, but not as much as others. So you know, uh, you know, <laughs> this is where we are, you know, now. So in the last in the last week, we got seven thousand downloads. Most of them go to my big app here uh, called EarSpy. Uh, but in proceeds, we got to you know, well, two hundred and sixteen dollars, which is not, which again is not enough to live off of. But in in conjunction with AdMob and and Google Play Play purchases, it's you know, it, it helps. Uh, so here you can see, um, you know, each day is like you know, you know, fifteen whatever. Um, 23 and you know yesterday was yeah yesterday was 23 uh, but if I show you down here the apps that are actually getting purchased so again 7,000 downloads not a lot of purchases uh, but you can see here that um, some of the top ones here are actually Mac OS games so that little you know let's see what this what this does put this onto the App Store and some of these are actually doing pretty well there's some things that we're doing differently on the uh, Mac App Store than we do on the Apple uh, App Store. So for one thing, we don't have a free version. It's just straight out paid version. They, you know, they could try it and, and like it. We don't have, as far as I could tell, we don't have any reviews on the App Store, on the Mac App Store. So, uh, you know, I'm not sure why that is. But we are, see, we do seem to be getting uh, you know, quite a few more purchases. Actually, let me show more here. So you can see here we've got, oh, go back, show more iTunes. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of fan of iTunes Connect. Obviously. Uh, so here you can see like the top one that we had in sales is um, you know Mac OS. You know twelve dollars in the last week. Uh, you know so we got Mac OS uh, and then we got app bundles. So a few weeks ago I was telling you how taking the uh, apps and putting them into bundles helped. You know my assumption was that it would help in terms of ASO and just giving another product to be found and maybe people would find the bundle and then be at least aware of the other apps within the bundle. But you know, people are actually buying the bundles too, so that's that's kind of nice. So here you can see app bundle, and you see Mac OS, iOS, Mac OS, Mac OS. So we're you know, we're, see, we're seeing you know more purchases. It's just like another avenue. And one of the reasons I think this is happening is because the Mac App Store is much smaller than the you know, iPhone App Store or the iOS App Store. Uh, you know, there's you know, if somebody goes in there and does learn Chinese. You know, my app's going to show up much better than it does if they do that through the uh, through the app store on their phone. So let me show you what what it looked like six months ago. So I picked a random week like six months ago, and here you can see the proceeds are pretty much the same. Oh, by the way, yes, proceeds and sales. Sales are what everything together. So what Apple gets, proceeds are really what I look at. So here you can see from six months ago. Um, if I show you the purchases from just a random week in um, what was this in August. You see that here. Back then, we had uh, Ear Record, which is the pro version of EarSpy. Now, I've actually taken that off the App Store about two months ago, and the reason for that is that uh, the, the new iPhones don't have uh, Bluetooth, or they, they they rely on Bluetooth. They don't have the uh, earphone jacks, and some Bluetooth's not working. It's been kind of sketchy. I got tired of people complaining. They purchase it, and I can't do a refund. So in the end, I just removed it while uh, while the developers are fixing that. So. Uh, so we actually got up to the point where we were back then. So here you can see 
uh, six months ago, Irrecord was doing the majority of the purchases were for that, and then maybe we might get a few a few purchases here. And you can see how few of them are actually in-app purchases. You know, some people were, you know, this is one of the, when you watch the ASO experts or whatever, they say, oh yeah, don't do uh, straight purchases, use in-app because it, it works much better. And dude, it might be the way that I'm converting, but uh, you know, the, the, um, the in-app purchases aren't doing very well. Um, but uh, they, they're doing better now, actually. Like I, like I talked about a few days ago, um, or last Friday, when you say remove ads is not enough, Another thing we've done in the last six months is start to add more to those in-app purchases. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that if you have an app that you can convert into a desktop application and put onto the Mac uh, OS store, then you know there might be a whole other um, revenue stream there for you, or at least something to just give a boost, You know, put it into a smaller market. And this is one of the reasons why I've been interested in doing the Windows market or the Windows app store, but I haven't done yet. And you know, it just, just find the time to do it. You know, because my, my assumption is that if you go into a smaller market with you know, where you register, where you show up better in search, then you might actually do better, even though you have a, a smaller customer base. So, anyway, just a little bit there. Now, the the other thing I wanted to talk about was I just ask your guys' advice on something. So next week I'm going on this. Uh, I've been invited on a podcast called Dojo Live. It's not very big. I've, I've looked at it, uh, some of their past uh, episodes, and they, you know, they don't have a lot of views. Uh, and um, and I joined them live last night just to, as a as a viewer, and it said there, there's one viewer watching. But <laughs> but anyway, I'm going on because they asked me, and uh, and it'll be kind of fun. I've been on two podcasts before, and it was kind of kind of nice, although very very nerve wracking. I get really nervous because they, you know, what if they ask me something I don't know? But anyway, they're they're asking me for a topic, and here it says topic to be announced here, uh, and. Um, and I'm not quite sure what to talk about. I want to talk about something cool. Uh, if I show you the past episodes, just from the past few weeks, you see what other people are talking about. You know, unlock the power of employee uh, uh, advocacy through email. Do I really need a manager in the future? That kind of stuff. And then, you know, I got this guy down here. Rise of the machines, right? I want something like that. I want a really sexy topic to give them. And then, uh, and also, I want to look cool like this guy, right? If I go back to mine over here. Because I look like a little boy asking for like a lollipop or something. So anyway, if you guys have any any suggestions for like a like a good topic, you know, because I, I don't want to go in there and just talk about something really app specific. Maybe I should talk about something more general. If there's something that you guys think that would be good to talk about with potentially dozens of, of viewers, <laughs> then uh, then please let me know, and uh, and that, that would be a really big help. And that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.